Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP gaming laptop. This one is an HP Pavilion Gaming 15-EC series. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can repaste, clean up your laptop internals. If yours is running hot and you just wanna open it up and clean up for getting a that little extra performance, you can follow these steps and it's really easy, you can do it at home. And I'm gonna go over the tools that I'm gonna be using and every step, how to assemble and how to disassemble everything step by step. And also remember when you do this service, you're not gonna lose any files or anything or system, you're not gonna modify anything like that. So you're safe right there. So I'm gonna go over the tools that we're gonna be using. First thing first is a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as these are one of the best screwdrivers out there. You're going to be using a Phillips number zero for now. And you need an alcohol, an isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. It's really important, 95% plus. It has to be a workshop towel. These are really recommended to get uh, this workshop towel. Do not use any towels or anything like that or paper towel. Use always a workshop towel. And you need a curve or straight tweezers. If you get the pro set of the iFixit screwdriver set, you get an opening tool that is screwdriver and tweezers, but if not, grab a curved or straight tweezers. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and cover. You need your favorite thermal paste. You can use the one I'll be using in this video is an Artec MX4. If you want to go overboard, you can grab the uh, thermal grizzly cryo nut those are really good but they're a little on the expensive side but these are really good and you get a really good performance from this ones you need a used or a new or used toothbrush and with all this on hand we're gonna get it started all right first thing first power of the laptop flip it upside down and in here we're gonna remove a whole bunch of screws there are two sizes of screws the long ones and the short ones the long screws are four the, at the back end of the laptop on the bottom cover and the three short ones are in the front end of the laptop. So go ahead and remove all these screws, keep them in separate piles so you don't mismatch them. Also if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out and you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe, I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we remove the screws, we're gonna grab our opening tool and we're gonna start from corner back or whichever corner you wanna just like grabbing from the corner back where the power jack is. And you wanna stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover like that. And you wanna twist it outward gently. And if it's not budging in, don't worry, move a little bit forward this side. And it starts right there, you see, I'm budging, I just do tiny clicks, that's what you wanna hear. So you see I budged right here and it popped right back there. So that's what you want to do. You want to work yourself all around towards the front corner. And you want to do the front side of the laptop. Those are the clips that are getting loose. That's what you want to do. And there we go. Work yourself to the back corner. Once you got that, on the back side by the grill, you can do the same thing by the grill back here. If you focus, you want to stick it right there and you want to pop it open. And the bottom cover should come out pretty easy. So just lift it up, wiggle it around and it comes easy. So right away we can see the dust mesh right here. You want to take it outside and clean it up. You can even wash this one and let it for drying so you can see a little dust right in here. You want to clean up those really nicely. All right, let's leave that to one side. All right, right away, what we're going to do before we do anything in here, we're going to disconnect the battery right over here. So to disconnect the battery, to disconnect the battery, you don't want to pull on the cables. What you want to do, you want to put your fingernails right at the back of these hinges right there and you want to pull it back. So that's what you want to bring it evenly all the way back and make sure it really comes over the pins. You can use a 
this one to bring it up. There you go. That's what you want to do. All right. Next, what are you gonna do? We're not gonna do a whole bunch in here. We're not gonna remove the hard drive or anything like that. First, we're gonna remove the power jacks for the fans right here. So you just tiny jacks. You wanna pull them up by the corner of the jack, the same way that you remove the battery. Grab it and wiggle it, and it will come out. Do that for the both of the jacks on the fan. There we go. Now that we remove those, first we can remove the fans to so remove the three screws on each fan. There we go. Now we can lift up the fan, bring it up, and put it to one side. Remove the other fan. Remove the right fan goes under the left fan, so I always start from the left fan to remove. Oh. On the right fan, there was only two screws because the screws in the middle it gets shared between both of them. All right, next we're gonna remove the heat sink by removing the one four screws on the CPU and four screws on the GPU side. All right, all the screws for the CPU and GPU are the same size. Go ahead and remove them. Now, you don't want to yank out from this side up, otherwise you're gonna you know, bend the piping. You want to grab from the middle of that board, and you want to lift it up a little bit. If it's not coming up, it's really sucked in there. You might want to, I'm just gonna wiggle it around a little bit to this front end, to the back, to break that seal. So I'm just wiggling it around, and pulling it up at the same time. There you go. So there's a, this tape right here for antenna that goes on the heat sink. You want to remove this tape. And there's more tape right here. So remove this tape right here. So peel this aluminum tape. You don't even need it. It's okay. All right. And now we'll go ahead and continue lifting up this one. Bring it up and flip it over so there you have it there's your old thermal paste is already dried up now what we're gonna do first we're gonna clean up the thermal paste on heatsink and on the cpu and gpu so grab a little bit of the workshop towel soak it in an alcohol nicely and just lift up as much as you can from the cpu and gpu the thermal paste and lift it over, bend it inside out, and do the same thing for the CPU. You want to do the same thing on the GP on the heatsink. Again, people is always tell me, do I need to replace the thermal pads on the side? You do not need to remove the thermal pads if you want to remove them. These are a 0.3 millimeter thermal pads, and the ones on this side these are 0.1 millimeter, 0.2 millimeter thermal pad. 0.2 millimeter thermal pad and 0.3 millimeter thermal pads on the other side. You do not need to remove them. They can last very so many years. Like uh, they don't go bad. And by replacing those, you're not gonna get a better performance or anything. So leave them alone. Don't touch them. But no need to remove the thermal pads. Don't worry about the thermal paste around the CPU die right there inside. You don't need to go through those groove and remove those, leave them be. As long as you clean the die, you're more than fine. No need to remove any other uh, paste in there. Just leave it the way it is. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it outside. I'm gonna use an air compressor, a dry air compressor. Do not use air cans, those are really bad. I'll leave the link for our air compressor that I use. It's really good to have around the house. It's really small and very powerful and it blows dry air. It doesn't blow humidity or anything bad for the motherboard. We're gonna use that on a toothbrush. I'm just gonna clean the fence, clean the fan and with my hand outside and I'll be back right after. All right, now that we clean up the 
chassis right there. I cleaned up the fans really nicely. You can do a better job if you want to. Depends how much time you take doing it. So both fans are cleaned. The heating, the ducting, the fans are cleaned nicely. And so we have everything almost ready. So before we do anything, we're going to do a second pass, dry pass on this CPU and GPU die. Make sure there's no more grease from your fingers on the on none of the sides. You're going to grab your thermal paste. I think I have a little bit left on my old one. So we're going to put a one drop on a G, on a GPU and one tiny line on the CPU. So right now we're going to grab the heat thing. We're going to bring it over. We're going to align it first the back the this side down and then we're going to bring it down evenly and we're going to release it. We're not going to lift up again. If you lift it up again, you have to repaste. So we're going to cross screw the GPU first. So put one screw right on the corner one side and then put the second screw on this end of the metal right here. Always cross screw them. And then cross screw the G the CPU too. Now that we cross screwed both of them, we're gonna put the rest of the screws in. Doesn't matter which order you go to, but again, it's good to go cross each other. Now that we, we put those in there, we're going to grab the fan. First grab the right fan, put it in there, and then grab the left fan, put it right beside the other one, and put the screws for the fan. The middle screw shares both of the fan together. So run, put nicely all the screws in. Also, you might want to run this cable. This cable is supposed to be run to beside the fan here. So I don't know in the manufacturing they haven't run the cable nicely, they left it right there. So you can leave it there, nothing's gonna happen. Push down the fan connectors inside the jack right there, both of them. It only goes one way in, you just push down all the way in. And we are done right here. And the last thing you need to do down here is to grab the connector evenly. You wanna push it down inside the jack evenly. And that's how you finish up doing the all the work you wanna do. You want to put this aluminum tape right away here. You can go ahead and put it, but there's no point for it. It's just kind of grounding it, but nothing ever happens to these ones, even if you don't ground it. So there we go. So we have those in there. You want to grab the bottom casing. You want to align it straight on top. You want to push the corners in, make sure you hit those tiny clicks or loud clicks on the sides. If you want to pinch the top and the bottom cover, palm rest together to make a nice snapping, that's what you want to do. Once you finish with that, all you need to do is to put the bottom screws on and enjoy your new serviced laptop. Again, remember when you power on, it might take up to 5 to 10 seconds for it to show anything on the screen because we disconnected the battery so don't panic and let it do its own thing for 5 to 10 seconds and then it's going to boot up normally i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if it did please click the like button and think about subscribing to support the channel if you have any questions or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video